Hey guys, it's Jeremy with Shooter Source. We are going to build a belt today using high speed gear and a safari lead holster. I'm going to kind of show you the process, show you some options. Now, if you're not familiar with high speed gear, um, it's a company right here out of the USA. They offer a lifetime guarantee on their stuff. Very robust, very uh, very proven. You, um, you see a lot of militaries on the competition range or just a gun range on range belts. Very good stuff. So let's jump into it. What we're going to be using today is I've got their operator's belt. That's a two-piece two belt system. It is got molly on the outside but it also allows you to put over uh, just like regular belt loops or belt slides. Second piece is the inner micro grip belt. Uh, I run this through my belt loops and then this goes over the belt loops and the opposing Velcro helps keep everything nice tight and in place. So, like I said, you can do molly on it um, and if you choose to do molly, I don't know how well you can see, you've got different webbings in there. Simply slide your piece through it, like so, and then you would weave it through your pouch, and then it would connect. But for this belt, I am going to use, um, it's a good thing about high speed gear, they got, you can either buy it where, for, uh, for molly, or you can buy it with, uh, belt loops on it. I'm going to use belt loops on this belt. It's a little bit easier to adjust. Um, if you get one in the wrong place, you don't have to unweave it. It's a little bit more forgiving, if you will. So the way I'm going to build this one is starting off, I'm going to put one of their taco pouches, which is what we're using today. Now they've got a lot of different pouches out there. I'll try to put a link in the comments below to a different video that has a breakdown of all the different pouches. But we're using the tacos for today. One thing I dig about these is you're probably familiar with it, but they got the bungee cord on there and they accept a variety of things. Um, let's see here. I've got a standard Glock mag, 17 rounder fits in there great. Here's another Glock mag that's got a, an extension on it. Same thing. Goes in there nice and snug and holds it. Uh, 2011 metal mag. You can put pretty much whatever magazine you want. The only limiting factor is I wouldn't put a something the length of like a Glock 26 mag in here because if you do, it's going to be right towards the top. So something that's along the 15, 17 round capacity or more, you'd be good. Other cool thing about the taco pouches, got a flashlight. You can shove that in there. And that's what this one's gonna be used for here in a minute. Um, if there's a need for you to carry a multi-tool on you, this one's a pretty big one, but it fits in there. Holds it nice and snug. So, Real quick, I'm gonna go over the loadout of how I'm going to do this. First thing I want is I'm gonna have a single taco pistol pouch right here. And this is this would be right here in my body line. For a flashlight, we're gonna do a couple double deckers, which allows to save some real estate, but allows you to put a rifle mag and a pistol mag on there just like that. Or if you got a phone, you can throw a phone in there. It's the beauty of the taco pouches. You can put almost anything you want in there. Um, we're going to do that. We're going to stack three of their double deckers. So that's give me three pistol and three rifle. Behind that, we're going to put one of their high speed dump pouches on there. And then we'll have another pistol taco here, which will end up right here. And that is where my multi-tool multi will go. And then getting into the Safari Land stuff, we're gonna do a holster. So, let's put this dude together. So starting off on the belt, turn it upside down. 
I'm simply going to weave it through. And I have found if you get something not sharp, so just a letter opener to kind of get the felt loops to weave through pretty simply. You can kind of push them through here, pull it, and then snap it right in place. And this is, like I said earlier, uh, I want to use the belt loops on this one instead of Molly because now I can adjust it if I need to instead of having to take it out and just move it an inch or two. But that's the beauty of this particular belt, the operator's belt. You can use Molly or belt. So maybe you just need the belt and you have a pouches at home or in your gearbox that you can throw Molly or belt loop on. That's the cool thing. So moving on, we'll put our first double decker pouch on there, we felt loop through it. Just like so. And then we're gonna put the next one. Another thing while I'm getting this final one on there, you don't have to just have this belt for these belt loops to fit. These, these will fit any belt that you have. So there we are. There's our three double deckers and then our multi-tool or our flashlight pouch. Next, we're going to go ahead and put a dump pouch on there. Never know why you need a dump pouch. Empty magazines. If you're out on the range at a class or something, maybe it's a notebook and a pen to take notes from the instructor. Uh, if your job requires you to do site exploration, that's a good reason for it, but a lot of good reasons to have one. And we're just gonna weave that through there. and snug and then lastly I'm sorry we're going to do the uh, get do the next and final pistol taco pouch which will be the one I will be using as a uh, to hold them my multi-tool Now, on to the holster. I'm a big fan of the Safari Land. Uh, I run a level two ALS, uh, pretty much all of my stuff. This one happens to be for a 2011. Goes in easy, doesn't come out unless I activate the thumb release here. It's simple, easy draw. Um, this one is for a Glock 19 with a red dot on it and a light on it. Um, the beauty of this system is using the Safari Land QLS system, which is basically this mounting plate and this receiver plate. And then I put it on a Safari Land mid-length drop just to get the gun a little bit lower so it's not so high. I don't run it crazy low, but just, just a little bit. You can see it's not dropping it too much, maybe two or three inches, but it makes all the world of the difference. Reason I like the QLS is if I'm running my 2011, I can slap that holster on there. I'm good to go. Uh, say I'm taking a class or doing something different, or I just want to change holsters, different gun. I can grab another one, put it on there, and it is good to go as well. So we're going to weave 
this into here. Kind of, it's going to be snug and tight because of how much reinforcement is in this belt, but you'll get it there. And then we're going to put our belt keeper back on. Just like that. Lap it over, reweave it into the Cobra buckle. Just like that. And then slide our belt keeper it over it so that pigtail's not hanging out. So there it is with the Cobra buckle and everything all laid out. Um, so I've got that gun here. We'll put the 2011 in it. A couple magazines for the pistol. There. And get through a rifle magazine and that one. And the way this one's going to be ran for me, my flashlight goes right there. And then even though, if you notice, uh, I'll have to do a little bit of adjustment here in just a minute. I want my draw to be where it, yep, that works out perfect, actually. I don't think I've ever got it that perfect on the first go around, but hey, you guys must be good luck. Uh, Multi-tool is going right back here. And you can run this any way you want. The other thing that I would recommend adding to it, you know, depending on what you're doing with it, is a med kit. You know, you could bypass the dump pouch. Um, a lot of guys I have seen will run a med kit here. That way it is reachable from both sides. And then maybe if you are running a multi-tool, it'll go up front. Now, throwing this dude back on. Of course, I would have the inner belt in here and that attached. But yeah, it works out pretty good. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I like the way this one has turned out. Um, There it is guys, that is the high speed gear operator belt. Again, you can run molly, you can run belt loops. You don't have to be their stuff, but you know, if you're just looking to get a good belt set up, this is the way to go. Um, I like the double deckers because they are allowing me real estate. You can see I've got, uh, well, I'm about an average size waist, but when I start piling all this stuff on, it starts taking up a lot of room really fast. And if I had to spread these out and have single layers, it would be mag pouches from here to here. And honestly, if I had to do that, I would reduce the capacity. But, you know, to get more uh, magazines on the belt and not take up linear real estate is awesome. 